Shalom children of Israel, my name is Mikael Massa and I hope you're doing well. Today we want to talk about Esau's world. African hunting safaris. Esau was a hunter from beginning. And uh, Jacob was the humble one. Still today we can see that the animals that our ancestors was only killing them if they need uh, meat or the our ancestors they only killed so many of the animals so that they can eat but today we have someone he's killing animals because he can kill them he's killing animals because he's angry of the most high because these are the animals from the most high he's killing animals for business he's making business he have so much money fun to killing animals he also have so much fun yeah to really finish them off he's finishing the animals off because he's proud because uh, he need the flesh to make him clothes, bags, etc. with it. And the Bible says that this man that kills animals and destroy the forest and uh, fought all the kingdoms is Satan. The Bible calls him Satan. So if you see all around the world, the first thing that you will see is that a lot of animals, they are already gone. Hmm? So these people right here are destroying the nature. Yeah, they destroy the nature, and this didn't. All this didn't start in the twenty-first century. Since white people came into Africa, they came to destroy. They came to destroy the the land of the Muamis, the land of our forefathers. He says a lot of discontent here already. Can't, huh? Hey, old boy, some of the others are fed up with the present king. There's a civil war brewing. The boat will return and may come to a head. I've seen them before. I've seen them before. On the walls of Egyptian tombs, exactly such cattle. So she saw the cattle before on the wall of the Egyptian tombs. So uh, the thing is, people today claiming that Israel is in the Middle East. Did you see lions over there? Did you see crocodiles over there? 
Did you see uh, the Nilpferd? So we call him Nipopata. Did you see this uh, 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 animal over there? Did you see leopards over there? Where are the hills? Where are the waterfalls? Where are the gold? Where are the stones of iron and everything? Where is the white land? Where is it? So if we talk about uh, the cattle also, He's talking about Egypt, he's talking about Africa, he's about talking about Central Africa. The old man said the Watusi came here from the north. The north could be Egypt. Too. So, the most of us came from the north, from Egypt. And they weren't down to Africa. This is the particular area where the Israelites dwell st st still today. So, if you see these people hunting and killing animals because they can do that because they understood that these animals because in the ancient times these animals wasn't even protecting our kingdom if you see they show themselves in the paradise the, the white people they show themselves always with lions in it with all kinds of animals but there is no other land or country where you can see so many animals as in Africa even the birds in the winter time are flying home to Africa because it's their home forget the Middle East y'all it's Africa because in the Middle East no animals are there since today even 2000 years before even 4000 years before it's written I will give you a new land that is not like Egypt why Egypt because Egypt was in that time so-called fruitful but for the most high, he said, it is not. So, where is Egypt? Me, Egypt is the Middle East. The same weather. Even Egypt has better weather than the Middle East. The same weather. Dry land. Desert. He says, I will give you a land, a fruitful land. A land where milk and honey is. And if you see this one, this is the paramite, yo. Never you will see a black man to come to this position right here. Because it says in Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which framed me chief by a law? So they have a contract with Satan that Satan will protect them Satan will give them everything what they want yeah so they can feed their kids they can feed themselves they are the rich people and the other nations or let's say the Africans or let's say uh, the true Israelites they have to suffer and if you want uh, power you have to pass by many many people so Jacob will find himself always here this is the system that they created and why I'm showing you this pyramid if you see these people can come and hunting our animals, it's because they can do it. If you, as a black American, kill one police officer, it can be that they will kill all of your family. If you kill one white police officer. Because they can do it. Donald Trump can say can say hey you'd rape even if he do, doesn't do that 
if, if even you didn't you did not do it and you will go to court forever so you have always you have always a problem because these people are in power at work yeah at home everywhere now it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness this world against spiritual wickedness and high places now like I have showed you this people came to Africa they saw the goals they saw the spiritual power that we had and today they are fighting it they fought it with mixing they fought it with killing us they fought it with uh, many things many 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 things so the problem that we have today our spirituality is gone uh, but it's not totally lost it's only uh, our our gods yeah the Muamis because there are many gods beside the Almighty God yeah and our ancestors yeah they show us our, th their back now we have these people that come now and say here you are poor we are we can help you with gifts we can help you with uh with everything because you're poor your god have uh, you are lost christ will help you muhammad will help you here take our milk here take our food here take our gifts now it is written all bribery international donations to Africa are a perfect match and injustice should be blotted out but true dealing should endure forever a very little is a substance for a man where nurtured do African leaders know it and he feed it not his word short upon his bed they do not know it the greed of some Negro cunt excuse me American ascent leaders has turned to the whole continent of Africa upside down inside out so uh, here is a parable of King Solomon it's like the French and other nations are, are, are fighting for our good then you get the AA you get the, the, the help and there is another one say sorry kid they called my bluff so uh, all the help that we get from the nations if I'm helping you I think I will have to help you like this that you can help yourself but if I see that I'm helping someone and he stays in the in the same place this means I helped him with another spirit I did not help him so this means after all this is a power of witchcraft behind it I worked in social systems in Germany brothers and sisters the most of them are smoking joints the most of the people that work in such uh, places like the Red Cross, SOS, children, dwarves they make a sex with each other 
like always every day they smoking joints they uh, uh they, 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 they sniffing coke and stuff they having a bunch of tattoos they don't believe in the author in the most high these people are screwed and this People come to our countries and say they want to help. But hell no. Nah. If they want to help, where they get the money from? Why they why are they so rich? If I help someone, even if I get the money from the government or etc. And I always give the money up, how can I become so rich? All the money and all the goods that they become, they're making business with it. Even if they go to Africa, they want to build something like a church, hostel, hotels, uh, st uh, streets, uh, tunnels, place where you can take water from it, or anything. They go to the government and take money from our government. Then they go to some of the corrupt uh, dictators and colonels. Yeah, they change the money with them so that the population it stays like it was before. And even everything what they do, they do it only for the rich people. This is the white man's plan. This is that what he does with Africa. It says, Behold, we are servant this day, and for the land that thou gavest unto our fathers, to eat the fruit thereof, and the good thereof. Behold, we are servant in it. This is Nehemiah 9.36. So which land did the father give them? The Middle East? Are the people in the Middle East still today slaves in their countries? Which nation are slaves in their own countries? Africa is a white man's country. But Europe is not the black man's country. Asia is not the black man's country. India is not the black man's country. Yeah? North America, South America is not the black man's country. But this verse is telling us a father, so Yah, gave his people a land a place where milk and honey come from where everything is in it you will lack nothing in it so these people come yeah they did never come to build africa or to teach us to give us knowledge or they never come with peace Truth being told, Africa is even in her worse state of servitude, slavery, than ever. But our kinder old boys, Aka African president, are doing nothing except pimping for the mighty slave master. They are just there to hypnotize us with music, dream for promises, and get well discourse. Fratteries, but little knowing that we are praying taxes to the G8 yeah or G7 today ask the Bible we won't lie to you this is the problem that we have today okay we have a big problem because uh, yeah like I have told you these people do not come yeah for peace if you see these people can hunt our animals for free yeah like they take our treasures for free yeah like still today they don't want to ex to say excuse me because of time of slavery raping our women killing little kids yeah taking our goods our treasures everything stealing our lands yeah still today everywhere we scattered we are slaves no excuse. Now, they have 
websites like this, Hambanati African Safaris, and you can call them. You can go all over Africa in hunting animals. The problem of animals is this. I know much, some people outside there would think now I am crazy. Animals and humans, there is not much different. The only difference in the animal and the human is the human is a human and he can talk and he have the capacity yeah to be over the animal this means to create because he is the god of the animal but if you see the flesh or spirit that is inside the animal you will see an animal is a living being and the animal have a heart, an animal have a spirit. There is no different in the spiritual way from a human and an animal. So that's why eating meat is not always good. It's dangerous. I have to make a film about it to explain how why people putting their spirits in dogs, etc. That's why you could see in Egypt even there was worshipping animals. There is a spirit inside the animals, even in the most high heaven, they know it. So if they're killing animals, animals just make a, 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 a part of life, a part of the things that the most high made in this world to be a paradise. They do not kill them because of nonsense. See for yourself. Here, these are the Kenyans. Soon I will show you who is who in Africa, and then you will understand. Because many people's many, many people's now already understood that uh, my Israel is not in the Middle East. This is a new Israel. There are two Israels: the Israel, the Israel of from Paul in the Middle East, and the Israel from my forefathers in Africa. And um, now, all things are double, one against another, and he had made nothing imperfect. It says in Psalms 50, 10 and 11, For every beast of the forest is mine. Why the Mosai is saying something like that? Hey, in Europe you have some fox, some dogs, some swine. In Africa we have animals right there. And soon there are no more animals. We have, soon we do not have no more meat. They want to finish all meat off. You will eat, you will eat soon chemical, sh chemical, uh, food soon you will eat chemical food chemical meat yes like in Kenya the Kenya under siege for a long time uh, we have Uganda Rwanda we have some places in Africa the white man put his hand over there. They mixed with them. The white people can do there like they want. Many places. Angola, Congo. White people are everywhere. 
But there are some other nations of us, yeah, some of the Israel tribe that do like do, do not like to mix with the whites. But Kenyans, whoo, all the animals, white people can hunt them for free. He says, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the folds of the mountain and the wild beasts of the field are mine. The land of thousand hills is in Rwanda, Kenya. Google it. Yeah. So, the ecosystem balance of the nature is also biblical. Things are set in a perfect harmony with one another. According to the Holy Word of Rwanda. This is my friend that wrote Rwanda over here because he liked to write Rwanda because he came from there. But the Holy One of Israel, okay? But ask now the beast, and they shall teach thee, and the folds of the air, and they shall tell thee. So, like I told you, can a German uh, paint a lion if he never saw a lion before can uh, let's say a France if someone from France paint a crocodile if he never saw a crocodile before so if we ask the animals where the animals come from we never saw a migration from the Middle East or from Asia, from America, from Brazil, from Russia, that the animals went from all these particular areas to come down to Africa. So this means even the part that was also Africa, let's say um, Australia, not, not even this part, have all kinds of, 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 of animals. So the problem that we have here is that Esau knows our secrets and we do not respect the nature. If you do not respect the nature, you are killing God. You're killing the Most High, y'all. And this is that what they do. Because soon I will teach you who the Most High is. And this is that what they do. They are attacking and killing animals because they think they can kill and finish the Most High off like this. No animals, no human. No human, no animals. But ask now the beasts and they shall teach thee and the folds of the air and they should tell thee even the folds they know when they have to go home a righteous man regarded the life of his beasts but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel this is proverbs 12 and 10 now that the lions of Congo have turned into a myth, a history beyond recovery. Kenyans are on their run toward rivers, the Rwandan brothers, in toppling the balance of the nature. You don't need to be a seer to predict the outcome of this mischief. Lions and other ferocious beasts should begin to hunt after their babies and cattle mark my words so all the things that happens here excuse me here poor English what is this kind of game sport called because this looks like it is a game every human on the earth knows that what they do but no one cares Why I preach about those things? Because I know we have we have people, we have black people that studied 
and they have the opportunity, they have the power to go against it. We had in the ancient time of slavery, we had lawyers, black lawyers in this time of slavery that, that spoke English, spoke French, spoke German, they spoke Spanish, they spoke Arabic. They was against the colonizers and they talked, let us, our people, free. Why today, where are our lawyers, where are our people, why they don't stick together to go against such things? Hmm? It's not normal. Now, here, you can see in the map the prizes because he's never doing something without making money. Can you see the prizes? Small African cats, 250 bucks. Lion. Yeah, Kundu Bull. So you have Roan. Waterbuck. Zebras. Big business. It's a big business. In the aftermath, this will result. Negro suffer from a short memory syndrome, if not Guan Hamakumuka, Stockholm syndrome. Receive a stranger into thine house and he will disturb thee and turn thee out of thy own. He's not only killing animals. Long time ago, he's killing our people like he want, taking our goods, he's doing everything with us like he want, and we cannot hold them. As you can learn a lot from these African wise men, animals have a sense of sympathy and a gratefulness toward their neighbors. Have you ever seen an African wild crocodile playing with an infant of the village? This kind of wisdom, I heard of it since time of King Solomon. You can't get it in your former school. Notice that even Europeans come to learn, sadly enough, they shall probably turn this knowledge against the first authors and say that they instructed Negroes to tame the animals in that way. African stamming crocodiles, faces of Africa, guardians of the sacred crocodiles. So, I have more movies. You can look at the movies, then I show you what is a Inupopotam crocodile, crocodile or the Nile third. These are the, from, from the Nile, from Egypt down to Congo, to Rwanda, to the Great Lake and stuff. These are any, our animals. These are typical African animals. You can see them in the Bible and everywhere. It's not in the Middle East. It's not in Asia. It's not in, 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 in America. Okay? That's why I don't speak, the, I don't teach the Bible like the others. I don't talk about Israel too much. Israel in the Middle East. La, la, uh -uh. It's a lie. Free Mama Africa. Free the animals, free the nature, free the people inside this country, this land. Yeah? Free them and you will see that the most high is living there. You will see that the most this is the most highest promised place that he gave our forefathers. And it will be forever and ever. That's why they are attacking where King Kong come from. They are attacking this place because they know. The king is coming from there. If this Israel in the Middle East would be 
the promised land they will attack it all nations would finish it off because it's not they don't care about it the loneliness is beyond measure it is written wheresoever you find the dead take them and bury them and I will give thee the first place in my resurrection the guy you can see on the photo here on the left is wiser than Israelites from the small of the greatest the ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib but Israel does not know my people does not consider even an animal is given honor to the Most High he knows what the Most High given to him from the starts if he came or he is born out he knows when the time came to give him prayers to the Most High an animal I told you there is no different between them only that the human is a God but ask now the beast and they shall teach thee again and the folds of the air and they shall tell thee they tell you ask them they tell you where the promised land is they tell you who the most high is and where he lives and what he gives into the hand of Jacob a child from a strange land approached me and asked if a uh, random cell skulls and skeletons I went speechless how was I supposed to react because <laughs> The only way you can find that these our people are totally dumb, you will find this uh, skulls in some ritual places. There are some places they're selling their witchcraft. Then you find some skulls like this, and this is that what the white man will show you. Look, he's selling skulls. But never you will see them, our people, selling skulls like that much like you see here. This behind this, a white man have to be, because they're selling only for their voodoo rituals. But this kind of things here. Then said the Lord unto me, Pray, not for these people, for their for their good. That's why I always say um, we have to be very, very careful. Uh, we have to be hard with people that uh, have do not have our spirit. And uh, if you see today Africa is uh, suffering, it's because they pray for the enemy. Know that. The only place that do, does not know who the white man is is Africa we have some other places like Southern America Brazil but also there they know much more than in Africa in Africa the hunter the enemy of Yah is a god so they are beyond measure. The Most High has sworn by the pride of Jacob, I will never forget anything they have done since the start, 1600s. They came, took all kind of treasures. They took all kind of. Uh, uh, they killed elephants. They took all kind of things out of animals for clothes and making money. 